Now less than a week out from Election Day, Clark County Registrar of Voters Joe Gloria joins us this morning with some final information and some suggestions. So we're, we're six days away from in-person voting, uh, Joe, but uh, what, two days left for early voting? So what uh, important reminders uh, do you have for mail-in voters? For mail-in voters, we want to remind them that we have drop-off locations at all of our early voting sites and will again on Election Day at all of our vote centers. So if you want to drop off your ballot, uh, your best uh, place is early voting or election day sites. Yeah, don't put it in the mail. I mean, I get there in time, I guess. So what about those planning to vote in person November 3rd? Do they need to bring their mail-in ballot, their sample ballot? What should they do? If they bring their mail ballot, they'll have to surrender it. Uh, they don't have to bring the mail ballot. They can simply sign an affidavit stating that they don't intend to sign it, send it in, and then just sign in and vote. With so many uh, early voters, do you think the in-person voting will, will have long lines still? It's possible, but we're ready for it. We've got 125 sites in good locations with plenty of room for voting machines, so we'll be ready for a good number of voters on Election Day as well. Will you know by today what the judge uh, decides about this uh, lawsuit uh, preventing or asking to prevent the counting of mail-in ballots? Well, that'll be up to the judge on whether he's going to rule today. Uh, we certainly hope so. We're confident that the judge will uh, see our case in this matter and we'll be able to move forward as we have been for several days counting mail ballots. Yeah, I, I know that's likely. Uh, but, but what if the judge rules in their favor? So what would happen to all those ballots if he says you can't count them? Well, if he stops our counting, obviously it's going to slow down our process and it would endanger our ability to canvas on time according to state law and AB4. So... Uh, again, we're confident that uh, the judge will rule in our favor and we'll be able to continue processing as we have for several days. How is that mail-in ballot counting going? Uh, we reported earlier that over 100 ballots were rejected. So what was wrong with those? I'm not sure which ballots you're referring to. However, if uh, voters don't sign their ballot or if their signature doesn't match, they enter into the cure process. Uh, they receive documentation. And if they have an email or a phone number, we also contact them that way. There are also several groups in the Valley who are working to contact those folks and help them cure their ballots. So you can get their uh, signature afterwards and it's still good. That's correct. Yeah. So, hey, last question. You, you've seen a lot of elections come and go. What stands out to you about this one as, as being unique? Well, voters are engaged, certainly. Every presidential election is the biggest election we've ever served. But with the pandemic, it's been an extreme challenge to serve voters. But uh, thanks to the work of my staff, I think we've done an excellent job of putting a process place in place, as is evident by the turnout over the past 11 days. Yeah, you guys uh, really are doing a great job. I know you're busy, and uh, Joe Gloria, uh, Registrar of Voters for Clark County, thank you so much for taking the time to join us this morning to help us with those suggestions and the information. You have a good day. Thank you very much.